Today I'm at a place called Oakland Tea House in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Yeah, Auburn Hills, Michigan. So initially I ordered all this food to go, but it got dark outside. And I do have a light in my car to light up the scene, but I kind of wanted this to be an experience. So I decided to eat inside. Today we're trying Taiwanese food. I got a plethora of items. Let's see what it's hitting on. This is called the Oolong Black Tea. Oh, nope. I didn't even drink none of that. The top, the top is hot as I'm gonna drink that later. Let's go ahead and try these, these shrimp dumplings real fast. Oh my God, this ain't shrimp. Man, it is shrimp. So these are the homemade shrimp dumplings. I've never, maybe I'm tripping. I've never had shrimp like this. I gotta ask what this is. So these are shrimp dumplings, right? But it's chopped up shrimp with tuna. That tuna is amazing. You got some sauce? Mm-hmm. That was a little loud. The sauce is really good. This next dish is called the salty crispy chicken. Okay. All right, so for one, it's definitely salty. Obviously it's called salty crispy chicken for a reason, but it's not as salty as you may think it is. It's topped off with green beans. It is crispy, the chicken is tender. The chicken is also, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's also juicy too. That's gonna definitely knock your sauce off. She told me to put this on top, some type of seasoning, I'm assuming. It smells like maybe cayenne and paprika. Oh yeah, that's definitely spicy. <coughs> <clears throat> Overall, the chicken's on point. I would have been A-OK -okay if I would have not put that seasoning on it. But for people that like spicy stuff, put the seasoning on it. You'll love it. The next thing we have right here is a, it's a braised pork bao sandwich. I think it's called gua bao. Uh, it's called gua bao. Oh, my God. Damn. So first off, let's state the obvious. The dough is amazing. I asked her what this was before. She said some type of flour, pepper flour dough. It's the softest dough you'll ever have in your life. It's so soft that my finger is leaving fingerprints inside the motherfucker. Now on the inside is where all the joy happens. Let me explain it to you. Cilantro, braised pork. It looks like you got some 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 chopped peanuts. I had to take the glasses off, but look at this. So the sandwich is extremely nutty. If you don't like peanuts, you might not like this. But I'm pretty sure you could probably get it without the nuts. Without the nuts, you'll be able to taste more of the braised pork. The pork is really, you can see. Oh, it's really juicy. I ain't never in my life seen, seen pork glisten like this. You know what? I want my women to look like this from now on. If my women ain't, ain't glistening and, 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 and wet and oily like this, I don't want it. Yeah, I wouldn't go too far with that. If you're a person who likes pork, you're not allergic to peanuts and you want to try something different, this is probably something that you would definitely want to try. Mm. I promise you. Jesus. So this next dish is called the Don Don Noodles. Let's try it plain real quick. Okay. So we got lettuce, looks like pork, carrots, cucumbers, peanuts, and crushed peanuts. And noodles, if I haven't said that already. So eating this by itself, you don't want to eat this by itself. Because it doesn't have any flavor at all. But I want to try it just so I can have the experience. Mm. She did tell me to put this, I'm not sure what this is, some type of sauce. Mix it up real quick. She did tell me to put this sauce on here. She said, make it real sloppy. And then guess what she said? Please. I was like, girl, you better chill out. <laughs> so I got the sauce on it right now. You wanna try it out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. So the sauce, I mean, I'm not sure what type of sauce it is, to be honest with you. What I can tell you is, it is sweet. It seems like it has some, some pieces of, of, of pork down here at the bottom too. It kind of almost reminds me of like a, a oily gravy. It's definitely not spicy though. It has all the flavor to this that this needs desperately. Let's pour some more in there. Mm -hmm. And the sauce of this really increases the nutty flavor and adds a sweetness to it. You will love this. We're gonna try this with long black tea. See if it, see if it calm down a little bit. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. But I'm gonna be honest with you. It doesn't taste like anything. No, no, no. I'm gonna put the address right here. Wherever you are in the Detroit area, Auburn Hills area, if you're watching this video, you like Taiwanese food, if you wanna try Taiwanese food, you might wanna come check this place out. 